Hello everybody and welcome to the 17th Python with NLTK for Natural Language Processing tutorial video. In this video we're going to do one last look at some some of the data and our accuracy before we move on and actually apply this uh, to a real world situation moving forward rather than testing historical data. So the question I have before we move on is uh, our accuracy are we how accurate are we so we have uh, basically a binary system here either something is one thing or it's the other thing uh, true or false in our case it is positive or negative so my question is well with this 70 percent accuracy that could mean a lot of things that could mean we are 100 percent accurate on um, let's say we're 75 percent accurate average that could mean we're 100 percent accurate on negative stuff but we're 50 percent accurate on positive stuff so our, our average is 75 well uh, we wouldn't we would want to dig in deeper if that was the case so what we want to know right now is what is the distribution between our accuracy on positive information or accuracy on negative information so to do that we can kind of actually do this rather simply we can stop shuffling our data uh, so now we know what's positive and what's negative uh, so the first thousand documents here are positive or are negative and the second thousand documents are positive so what we can do now is we can come on down here we've got a training and testing set let's train against uh, again the first 1900 and we can test against the last 100 so 1900 onward and so this will be all positive data and we can really we can let this whole thing play out if we want it's not totally necessary um, well at least we can cancel these from running um, so let's run this and see what our, our accuracy is against you know positive data and then we can run it again um, and check it on negative data what is this what is this uh, testing set five zero I'm not quite sure why that was there um, hopefully you guys don't have that I'm not sure why that was there testing set five zero that probably came from down here and I'm just not sure why so okay anyway <laughs> back to the data uh, while that's running let's modify the other code that we need to modify um, actually we already got a result uh, here you go uh, original naive Bayes algo accuracy is 49% so we're actually less than half of the time we'd be better off just like randomly guessing there slightly better with the uh, multinomial naive Bayes 54 um, it could be argued that we're testing against a slightly smaller sample size um, unlikely that that has a huge impact honestly uh, so anyways this was for positive data uh, positive positive data example uh, now let's do a negative data set while this is still playing out at least one of these has 60 percent <laughs> positive data now we'll do negative data so the training set will be basically anything from 100 onward and the testing set will be up to 100 so that'll be the 100 negatives holy what <laughs> wow the SGDC classifier was a hundred percent accurate on the positive data I'm just not buying it that's insane can y'all believe that holy apparently SGDC maybe it might be the case SGDC just chooses positive every time I don't know we'll have to run I'm gonna have to run this one again after we run the negatives we're gonna run this one more time and see what stochastic gradient descent gives a hundred percent I can't believe that that's insane uh, it's always a scary thing when you see stuff like that uh, I kinda wanna like run this in a different console or something so this is just taking forever um, that's okay we're already on new SVC so the voted classifier at the whoops at the end of the day our voted accuracy on positive stuff is 64 percent which isn't too bad um, although the SGDC I, I, I mean I can't envision a way that that could be wrong other than it predicts positive every single time but then if that was the case we would be like around 50 percent well this would always be around 75 percent accurate and I don't recall it always being around 75 um, but that could be interesting um, so anyways, we'll leave that for now. Uh, what was the other thing we were going to do? Uh, 
Or actually, it would have to be it would be like 50% on average. Anyways, what am I thinking? Okay, so so this was for positive. Now let's go ahead and run this for negative. Oh, uh, we'll save and run. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> let's just do it one more time just so we don't screw anything up. Um, so this is on negative data, so we just basically redefined the data sample. So this will be on negative data again. And um, from this, the answer here, so okay, so this one, at least we're starting off about 80% accurate. So, I mean, we could run this test like, you know, five, 10 times on each one just to kind of get a good idea. Uh, but probably with the voter, we'll get relatively accurate stuff. So, um, although I still, I gotta go back and check this SGDC. We'll see, I guess we'll know in this in this one if SGDC is like 0% accurate, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that'll give us our answer. Um, and that'll be interesting. Something's going wrong there if that's the case. Um, but anyway, you know, 64% accuracy, and then if this one is somewhere in the 70s, uh, it's not really worth looking into. Uh, but at least at, at initially, it appears pretty clear to me that this one is a lot less accurate on the positive data as it is on the okay yeah so our SGD classifier is unreliable we need to toss that one out or figure out what's going on there so trying to figure out how we would have 70 let's see before in theory we should have always been at 50 percent so maybe it's having it because we trained it training data training data yeah, we're training it on a good data set, so we're not training it. It's not like we're training it only on positive stuff. But I'm still not, it's not clicking with me why the SGDC classifier um, would be anything but 50% accurate, or at least close to 50% accurate on the other tests that we ran. Something else has to be wrong with the code, so I'll have to look into that, or just toss that one out and maybe toss out the original uh, algo as well. So we have still have an odd number because <laughs> we have plenty of naive Bayes algos being used here. So <laughs> including this 0% accurate uh, algorithm, we have about 65%. Uh, so mm, man, I'm really irritated about uh, about this vote. Anyway, we'll, we'll toss the original and we'll toss the SGDC classifier. And I'm going to have to play with that on my own time and see if I can't discern why we are uh, only returning a positive evaluation there and why that for some reason wasn't totally clear before because we were using a random sample so before SGDC should have always been around 50% if it's always predicting positive so I'm not sure why that's all of a sudden changed uh, the training data is still about you know it's relatively balanced it's more so positive but not hugely we could cut this off. We could say the training set is like 100 to 1900, and then it would be balanced. But I don't really see why that is making such a huge. But even then, this one wasn't balanced. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look into it. If anybody else can figure it out, feel free to post it below. Hopefully, by the next video, I'll have an answer. But we'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's that. So, so we're kind of confident here. Clearly, though, um, at least with this basic one. Although with the voting. You know, if you threw out this 100% accuracy, I think we would find that the positive one is a lot less accurate and the negative one is a lot more accurate. I mean, we're talking about at least by 15%. Um, so it's a, a decent distribution. So you actually, you know, going down the uh, down the line, we might want to require, you know, for a negative, um, for some, you know, we're more accurate on negative stuff. So you might require a little less confidence on the negative stuff, but we're a little less in inaccurate or a little less accurate on the positive stuff so you might actually raise the bar on the requirement for uh, confidence before you, you know, choose something uh, so anyways that's that I just wanted to show you guys you know it's a good idea to always look at that especially when you have like binary data you might as well train or you can train against all the data but test against you know one sample at a time because then this is actually a really great reason why um, something is wrong with our SGDC classifier had we not done this test, we might not have figured that out. Although we should have, I still am not buying how it wasn't always 50%, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but without doing that, we wouldn't have even come across this error and we'd be trucking along with this steady error. Although um, it might actually be the case that it's better off to have something always voting for positive. 
uh, because because <laughs> clearly positive is a little less accurate. So that was actually probably uh, leveling out the scores a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, that's that. Question or comments, leave them below. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.